In this video, I'm going to take folks through how to actually uh, use DaVinci Resolve to import a batch from Maya. DaVinci Resolve is considered to be the free version of Adobe Premiere Pro, so if you don't have access to Adobe Premiere Pro, this is a good uh, second option here. It's a little bit different from Premiere, but you can get the same job done. So just to take everybody through, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've opened DaVinci. First thing it asks me is, what do you want to do? So I'm going to generate a new project and I'm going to call this maybe Maya animation and I'll tell it to create. Then what it's going to do is it's going to snap me into the interface of working inside of DaVinci. Now for DaVinci along the bottom here, you have several different settings regarding what you want to work with. So the first thing we need to do is actually get the media into the project. So I'm going to go ahead and snap over to the media option. Now, unlike its counterpart, uh, Premiere, you do not have to actually really do an import and then set it to an image sequence. In previous videos, I talked about the importance of knowing where you stored your batch render from Maya. This is another spot where this becomes important. So for instance, I know that I can go into my users folder, find my user folder, and under my documents, I have my Maya folder in here. And I know I have my projects. I was using animation demo and in images. Now, this is a really cool element that uh, Resolve does for you here. Unlike its counterpart, as far as Premiere is concerned, Premiere will recognize each individual image here. However, if I show you a comparison here to the Explorer, notice in my Explorer external to DaVinci, you see each of the graphics here that were pushed out in the batch. However, in DaVinci, whenever you are working in the media layout down at the bottom here, it recognizes right away, hey, this is a batch set. So all I have to do is drag and drop it down to my media pool. Now I'm ready to go ahead and start working with my timeline. It's now been pulled into my project. It's also still a batch. So I'm going to go ahead and come down to the bottom here. And I am going to click on, you actually can go to either edit or you can go to cut. In cut, this is probably, in my opinion, if you have experience in Premiere, about maybe a little bit closer. Uh, edit is kind of the same as well. You still get the same graphics as far as Premiere is concerned. So either one, I think, if, you're, if you've had experience, you will be fine. Uh, cut, however, what's nice about it is it's less windows and literally all you have to do here is your playback head is already positioned for you. Up in the upper corner here is your media pool. You just need to drag and drop your video sequence down onto this timeline. So here you can actually see the end result. And if I do a quick little scrub here through as far as my video is concerned, or if I do a little play here, you can see that they did the entire sequence for me, took care of everything. I can even rewind, do it one more time. Awesome. So the last step here is to take this timeline and actually export it as a video. This is another thing that DaVinci makes it pretty easy. Under the uh, file dropdown, for the scope of what I'm showing here, quick export is going to be great. Also, what's nice about it is it will actually, if you are looking to export it to other places, you can either already have an account or it will pre-set up as far as the resolutions needed to be displayed, like on Vimeo or YouTube. For instance, for example, for me, since I do a lot of YouTube, I'm going to choose that. However, you don't need to have an account. You can just come right down to the export button. So there we go. I'm going to call this maybe uh, it's on my desktop. So I'll call this Maya batch animation. I'll go ahead and save. Again, very short animation, only 60 frames. But there's my little video on my desktop. And once again, I have the animation completed and it's ready to go as far as being uploaded somewhere or being used in another form. 